name is Anita and in this video I'm going to discuss about one more commutation technique that is class F commutation. It's also called as the line commutation and the natural commutation as well. Why it is called the line commutation or a natural commutation? Because in this case there is no external commutation circuit is required to make the SCR off but it will be off due to its own connected supply which is alternating in nature. So yes, my dear friends, class F commutation can only be possible when the connected supply to the SCR is of AC charge. As we know that AC in its one complete cycle passes through zero two times. So after the completion of a positive cycle, when it passes through zero and it enters into its negative cycle, then depending on the type of load, whether it is a resistive load or an inductive load, if it is a resistive load, then for a 50 Hz frequency cycle AC, the SCR will be off at 180 degree itself. Whereas if it is a inductive load, then depending on the magnitude of our inductance, the SCR will be off somewhere in between 180 to 360. So, my dear friends, now without wasting time, I'm going to tell you in detail about the class F commutation. So now I'm sharing my screen where I will brief you class F commutation. So let us talk about so class F commutation. This is also called as a line commutation and it is also called as a natural commutation. So the very important point about it is, it is only possible when the connected supply to the SCR is AC. The second thing is, depending on type of load, the SCR will be off either at 180 degree or between 180 degree to 360. Then the third thing is, no additional circuit is required for the commutation process for the commutation process okay so this is something about the important point of this commutation technique now let us talk about the power circuit diagram of class f commutation diagram so it's a very simple diagram there is a scr and here this is a load and this is connected to a AC supply. So this is a power circuit diagram. This is high resistor T1 or SCR1. And Vs is the supply voltage which I represent by Vm sin omega T. As the AC voltage is represented by this expression only. Now this is the power circuit diagram where T1 is silicon. Control rectifier, rectifier that is SCR and supply is AC charge. Okay, now the connected load can be resistive. So I will tell you its operation for a two types of load. The load can be of resistive in nature and the load can be resistive and inductive. Okay, you know that. AC we can represent like this. So this is omega T. This is V S and the peak value is V M. This is 0. This is pi. This is 2 pi. So I can write V S is equal to V M sine omega T. This is the representation of an AC supply. Now let us try to understand its operation. So its operation will be we will see, first we will see it for resistive load. So let me draw the power circuit diagram again. So this is Vs where it is equal to Vm sin omega t. Then the SCR and here the load is resistive Rl. This is T. So let me draw the waveform which will, uh, that will clear to you. Uh, let me check the graph paper so I will make the waveforms 
so this is for supply voltage this is for this x axis is for output voltage this x axis for output current and this is for so what i will do here i will plot vs here i will plot output voltage here i will plot output current and here i will plot vt so let me draw the input voltage so input voltage will be like this this is v so let me draw the supply voltage waveform first zero this is pi this is 2 pi this is 3 pi so this is the supply voltage waveform so this is supply voltage this is pi by 2 this is 3 pi by 2 Now let me extend these slots. Let me extend these strings. Now, when we give this kind of supply, as this is the positive supply, the peak is V M. So, during positive half cycle, as the anode is positive, positive half cycle means this is positive. So, anode of S C R one is positive. So, the C R. So, during positive cycle, the behavior of the circuit will be like this. It will act as a short circuit and this is your rl so what is the load voltage v0 is equal to vs and this will be the supply current and that is also equal to i0 so load voltage i am going to get like this and during negative half cycle the cr is reverse bias so it will be off so zero i am not going to get any output voltage again during positive half cycle i am going to get the output voltage so this is pi this is 2 pi now as the load is resistive so we know in case of resistance the current will be in same phase with the load so the say in same phase we will get the current also but the if this peak is vm what will be the peak of this current vm by r so it will be similar wave shift as of load voltage but it will be uh, re reduced by the magnitude divided by r now you can see here at this point the voltage is also zero and at pi the current flowing through the scr is also zero so pi will be the instant when the scr will be off when the load is resistive so if i plot the vt1 since zero to pi the cr is conducting so i am going to get zero voltage and pi to 2 pi as the cr is not conducting so i will get the complete negative cycle across the scr so what is the so what is the commutation instant the commutation instant for a resistive load is pi so scr will be off at pi itself when the connected load to the cr is now let us see for the new load that is second is when the load is resistive inductive so let me draw the circuit diagram so what is the power circuit diagram this will be the power circuit diagram load is resistive inductive so it will be the series combination of resistive and inductive so r and s load impedance will be r plus j x s now this is t1 and this is vs and the voltage sinusoidal voltage will be given by now again so during positive cycle suppose this is positive that is 0 to pi the cr will be conducting as it is forward bias so the output voltage V zero will be equal to V S. So let me draw the waveforms. Then I will tell you how the. So let's plot the waveform. This is for V S. This is for V zero. This is for I zero, and this is for V T one. So here I am going to plot V S. Here I am going to plot V zero. Here I am going to plot I zero. and here i am plot going to plot vt so this is zero this one is pi so this is zero this is pi this is 2 pi this is 3 pi and let me extend the instant 
so the supply voltage is like this and what is the peak value v n now load voltage we will get exactly similar waveform but you can see since the load is having inductance also and in case of inductance current lacks from voltage so current will not be in same phase with the load voltage it will be delayed so current will flow like this so the current will delay from the load so means what is the meaning of uh, current will lack from as the load is inductive so current will lack from the voltage so what is the meaning of lag that meaning of lag is if the voltage is reaching to its peak value at pi by 2 then the current will reach its peak value after pi by 2 so uh this will be like this suppose the current variation will be like this so means lagging it means the if one quantity is lagging from the another quantity that means it will reach that lag quantity will reach to its maximum and minimum value after voltage so uh, you can see that load current is reaches to its maximum value as well as minimum value after the load voltage so now you can see that the voltage is zero at pi but the current is not zero at pi current is zero at this point so that means this is the point this point is pi and this is this point is nothing but it is called beta so what is beta beta is nothing but it is the extinction angle what is the meaning of extinction angle extinction angle means at which the current the angle at which the current will extinguish so it is the angle at which the device is forward bias to the, the extinction angle is the angle between the instant at which the device is forward bias to the instant at which the current flowing through the scr is zero so this angle will be beta i hope now it is clear to you that when the load is resistive the scr will be off at pi here scr will off at beta and beta is nothing but it is called as an extinction angle and what is extinction angle extinction angle extinction angle angle is the angle between the instant at which device is forward bias to the instant at which the current flowing through device current flowing through device is g so this is the difference between scr and diode also as the diode will be forward bias when it is uh, diode will be on when as uh, when it will be forward bias and it will be off when it will be reverse bias but in case of scr neither it will be on uh, when it is forward bias nor it will be off when it is reverse bias apart from that another condition should be fulfilled when Uh, we talk about in turn on process of scr uh, 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 there is another condition required that apart from it sh should be forward bias the second condition is that the current flowing through the device should be latching current whereas when we talk about the commutation of an scr uh, the reverse biasing is not sufficient to make the scr off the second condition should also be fulfilled that the current flowing through the scr should be the holding current and for all uh, theoretical purpose we assume this holding current is zero so that's why the scr in case of inductive load it will be off at beta and scr in case of resistive load it will be off at pi itself so now i'm stop sharing my screen uh, my dear friends i hope whatever information i have shared in this video related to a class at commutation that is also called as a line commutation and a natural commutation now it is clear to you this commutation is only possible when the connected supply to the scr is of ac dear friends if you like this video kindly press the like button and if you feel that whenever i make any video related to power electronics a notification should reach to you and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you